Uh, hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we're going to use ChatGTP to solve some simple civil engineering problems. So in this case, uh, we uh, assume that we're going to analyze and determine the bending and shear force of a simple supported beam. Uh, let's suppose that beam is 8 meter length and it has a cross section of 0 0.5. Let me uh, make it uh, because the first gave deep and that should be 5. And we also can make it say deep and also the weight. And the material is concrete, which has a 30,000 megapascal uh, modular velocity and a distributed load is 20 kilometer per meter. And the boundary condition is pain and roller in both sides. So, so we will we need to and ChatGPT cannot draw the same, something in, in in the inside of the module, but you can use some other uh, language programming to 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 request a code, and there should be uh, some drawing and graphical uh, visualization. Now, what we're gonna do is the first thing I wanna ask you to be to tell me about the uh, uh, determine the bending moment initial force. So I already have here, and I'm gonna paste it. Just can enter, and it will tell you to determine the bending moment and shear force in beam. You can follow these steps. So the first thing is you should uh, identify the beam type and loading condition. That's the second is draw the uh, force body diagram and also calculate the reaction, calculate the shear force and calculate the bending moment and plus shear force and bending moment check, check the curvature of point distance. So it's seven steps that you should follow and then you can write for your uh, for your uh, manually work this thing. Now we have understand how uh, many steps we should uh, take to solve this program, this problem. Now we the second thing is we want to give an example, we want to ask uh, to solve an example for us and the program will automatically uh, do, do for us. As you see here, giving this example, in the program quickly specify our beam uh, properties and say the length is uh, 8 meter, 8 meter, the cross section is this one. Uh, I should say, I should make a small changes here, that should be uh, 5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, which is the depth here, you can see, program will and submit again, and you can edit anytime you want. And it automatically calculate the reaction force in the first step and the reaction force is yes uh, 113 both side which we divide by 2 and it's become 100 one, uh, 80 kilonewtons and we're gonna uh, draw the uh, shear force and it's the shear force and and giving the bending moment the shear force bending moment it's giving now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask it to write a Python code for us to draw the graph Copy. Sometimes uh, the, the program will do a mistake, and but you must be able to understand. And you can see the first thing is you must uh, have a matplot to uh, plot this, and then you have to also you should have Python in your program computer. And here is the program. Let me see. Copy it. And I have a Python with a, a Notepad editor so I'm gonna save it and just going to control shift A is my Python uh, program and you can see the graph is here so the first thing is called shear force diagram and you can see the shear force diagram is going to be uh, in uh, in zero displacement so we have 18 so other side it should be minus 18 so that's the graph but yeah you can you can see here that uh, let me you can see here zero zero and positive if, if in case if you're putting a and it's b so or right and left side is be okay this is okay and accurate and the uh, bending moment is also accurate so you can see in a zero zero and and eight meter which is the other side of the beam is okay but the maximum is one one hundred thousand newtons times uh, meter and the last one is the displacement so you can see the displacement as we know is in the maximum in the maximum uh, area which is uh, almost in this point 8.8 8 meters uh, sorry not not 8 point it's, yeah one, one minus it's about uh, 8.8 millimeters 0.85 millimeters and you also can tell the program to uh, the displacement should give us in uh, millimeter let me ask give the displacement in in the program uh, automatically will actually uh, rewrite the code and this time you will see that displacement will be in millimeter yeah copy and we want to substitute with the previous code and we're going to rerun so the program is already running ah 
it's not running because the previous one was open. So now I'm gonna rerun it. Let's call the title specimen diagram. Here is some small error, and it said uh, syntax error invalid syntax. If I uh, want to solve this using the uh, chat GDP, just copy this one, and I'm gonna say here. Uh, just again, uh, let's copy this from here to here. Copy in putting paste it here. It's called yeah. It's called apologies for the confusion and and it will uh, give us the plot again. So copy and uh, replace. Now the error is also finished, and now you can see the displacement is a base millimeter, so it's less than zero, one millimeter. And the uh, moment diagram is also about 160,000 or 160 kilonewton times meter. And this, the uh, reaction force is minus 80 kilonewton one side and 80 one side, which is correct. And this was uh, a simple example how to use ChatGDP using several new programs. So in the future, we will work some uh, complex and also some uh, more advanced uh, problem to solve uh, using ChatGDP. So, okay, if you have any question, please put in a comment at point time. Time, see you next time.